Willie D from the Ghetto Boys reacts to Diddy's viral video putting hands and feet on Cassie. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So Willie D, the straight talking member of the Ghetto Boys, never holds back when he's talking, has re reacted to the shocking video of Cassie getting assaulted by P. Diddy. He doesn't hold back. It's a good listen. Check it out. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Yeah, right. His ass is grass. I think it's important that everybody know that that type of behavior is unacceptable. What in a man that makes him so insecure? Because that's what it boils down to, family. That's an insecure man. That's what it boils down to. If she that bad, if she's that bad, if she ain't nothing, if she, you, if she, he kicked her and stomped and pushed and beat on her like she was nothing. So if she's that much of nothing, what does that say about you if you with her? And for you to have to beat on her, lets me know that perhaps you think you can't really do no better. Let's see all of these puffy supporters. Let's see uh, the ones who have been quiet because we know a lot of people have been very, very quiet. There's only been a, few, a handful of people who have been vocal and and, and their supporter did it. But let's see how many come out now. I suspect a whole lot of celebrities are going to be that's going to be talking about this and going to be speaking, going to be very critical of Diddy now. And that is because they smell blood and they think it's safe. Don't get fooled by them. They are cowards because they should have been speaking on this from day one. I spoke on it and was objective as I could with the information that I had. But we knew what it was, fam, all along, right? This right here was a big surprise, though. I did not expect to wake up to this. I did not expect for this to be the smoking gun. I thought the smoking gun was going to be some text messages or something or some maybe some, some type of audio Maybe some just getting on the stand and telling your side of the story or whatever. I thought it was going to be some of that type of stuff. I did not think that that would be a smoking gun. This is the smoking gun. Woo! That boy out of here. When he settled that lawsuit in record time, I knew right then it was something she had that he, may, he wanted to make sure did not get out. He was hiding something. What I want to understand is, with Cassie having all of that information on him, with her having all of that power, why couldn't he just put his ego on pause and say, you know what, I messed up, I did the girl wrong, I know what I did, I know what I did. Let me go on ahead on and settle this thing and, and get it behind me, because if she comes out if she speaks on this thing it's a wrap yeah fam willie d saying what i think that diddy is very insecure that sort of action obviously he might have been under the influence of something which most likely for that kind of reaction but it also comes from severe insecurity man this is sad bro sounds so sincere Sounds like he's really hurt. He's really wanting to um, apologize for it, you know, so you know what I mean? He's saying, man. Um. Former bad boy artist Mark Curry reacts to Diddy's apology video. This is Fresh Hair Pop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So P. Diddy issued a reaction to the video of him assaulting Cassie in a hotel in LA. On 2016 did it seem heartfelt i don't know it seemed quite rehearsed but everybody's got mixed reviews with it i personally believe he's just sad he got caught and that's out in the open but yes mark curry has reacted to the video i've got the clip right here people check it out man this is sad bro sounds so sincere sounds like he's really hurt he's really wanting to 
um, apologize for it, you know, so, you know what I mean, he sounded man. Um, so if you just listen to his voice, it sounds real, like, real believable. Um, I'm sorry. So I just, so, so we coming to this, I want to... I want to apologize too, since we all coming out. I want to apologize because 20 years ago, man, um, when I was in high school, um, I well, not in high school, but I was like 20 something years ago, man. I did some stuff that wasn't right, and I I actually stole a hundred dollars from one of my friends, and I just want to apologize for that right now, since we all going through late apologies you know i'm really sorry i was just messed up yeah fam i sense a hint of sarcasm in mark curry there i don't believe he's actually feeling sorry for diddy compounded by the fact that he brought up some hundred dollars that he stole from a friend back in high school or did he say college something like that so i sense a bit of sarcasm there like a mother but feel how free you feel today you, you decided to say and admit to everybody else because we saw it. MC Shan reacts to Diddy's viral video assaulting Cassie and his apology video as well. Check out the clip. Check it out, Puff. Ain't nobody perfect. I can't be a pot and call the kettle black. Back in the days, right? Before all this thing, oh, we gonna call the cops and somebody getting arrested, the police used to come to your house and tell you, yo, take a walk. I used to have a wife, that mother would bust me in the head and coke bottles and fucking put hands on me. So I would put hands back on her ass, mother period. So, can't call it black, but I had to let her know that mother you doing this, how the can I look at you in the morning and tell you I love you and I blacked your eye? What kind of love is that? We changed our whole shit. So I'm not pointing a finger. It ain't like I ain't never mother knocked a woman upside of my head. But that mother was a fighting lion ass mother. She wasn't no mother little, little uh, squirrel like you was beating the up, okay? This mother was busting me and bleeding. Man, nigga, I be leaking. She was stretching my mother 12 inch ropes. Them shits be 18 inches now. I just want to knock her mother off. But I didn't. Fuck it, I'll just have an 18-inch long chain now. So, I'm willing to admit that shit. That's part of the whole game. Being able to say, yo, I'm sorry. I admit it, I fucked up. And I see today you motherfuckers say you fucked up. Yeah, but motherfuckers knew what was going Yo, shit, better not go home and now you're going <laughs> to get sworn. Yo, it was just like that. And so I'm not pointing the kettle. I'm pot can't call the kettle black, puff. All I'm saying is, you admitted it. You freed yourself, mother You freed yourself. Ain't nobody can judge you. Ain't nobody perfect. And there's mad niggas out here looking at you talking right now. And they know they done slapped the mother woman before. I grew up to my mother getting beat up by her boyfriend. No bleeding there. And I'm too young. I can't do shit about it. But if I was of age, I'd have been in jail. So... That's, it was, I, I, listen, I knew what I grew up to. I didn't want to be that to the women that I f But sometimes happen. You get with a crazy one and that mother keep pushing your buttons and putting hands on you. And you just add a man, sometimes you can only take so many things and sh I'm going to be only so many mother that move. Not in these days, mother I'm just calling the police on your ass. Pot not calling the kettle black, my I'm guilty of that shit like a mother. But feel how free you feel today? You, you decided to say and admit the shit to everybody else because we saw it. Well, it's cool, Puff. Everybody Everybody got some bullshit with them. Wish you luck in all your endeavors. I don't judge you. It's not my place to judge you and shit. But you freed yourself. Yeah, fam. You gotta love MC Shan, he just keeps it real. And the thing is, most people won't even be mad at MC Shan hitting his girl because he admitted it without anyone having to expose him first. Whereas that's the difference. He says that Diddy admitted it, but he didn't admit it. He got found out 
than just apologise. And most people feel like he's apologising just because he's been exposed. But MC Shan feels like he admitted it and he should get credit for that. But I don't think most people see it that way.